your Toyotas. But hurry, this event ends March 31st. Toyota, let's go places. Get the latest entertainment news on the News for New York app for iPhone. New at five and out of control car smashes through a chicken restaurant in New Jersey, and this isn't the first time it's happened. Authorities say in today's incident, an elderly woman plowed right through the storefront of Cluck U and Red Bank. It happened around noon. A customer and a worker were both injured, but they refused treatment at the scene. The owner of the restaurant says a similar incident happened back in 2009, and just last year, a car crashed into a different business in the same strip mall. Police are revealing new details about a man accused of luring a Staten Island teen to California and raping her for five days. She may not be the only target. News for us, Roseanne Coletti has that story and how one click of an email exposed the teen's personal information. Buckwild Murphy knew glamour on the West Coast as the ex-son-in-law of the late movie director John Cassavetes. Police say Murphy looked to the East Coast to lure a Staten Island teen all the way to California. Sean Crowley, a retired NYPD detective, helped find the girl. He gave her very specific information about her family that he would cause harm to them and kill them if she didn't get on that plane. Murphy is charged with kidnapping and raping the 16-year-old, holding her captive in this isolated desert stretch of Apple Valley, some 90 miles outside L.A. for five days. The teen's frightening ordeal began with a series of emails she received from someone she believed to be another teen, but was instead a 49-year-old man. The two met in a chat room many kids use. Murphy, a musician who used to perform on the Sunset Strip, allegedly sent her song lyrics, but also something else, malware that infiltrated her computer, snatching personal information. It accesses your contacts, your photograph, your most sensitive financial information and personal information. How do you protect yourself? The major computer companies, Microsoft, Apple, are constantly updating their operating systems, their software, so update all the time. Dr. Jonathan Hill of the Seidenberg School of Computer Science at Pace University says never open unknown emails or links. If you receive an email, even if it's from a friend, if it doesn't look right in any way, don't click on that link. California police rescued the young woman who is now back home. Murphy faces 11 felony counts, and his own computer and emails are being used against him. Roseanne Coletti, News 4, New York. A panel of 12 jurors and six alternates has been seated in the trial of Boston Marathon bombing suspect Johar Sarnayev. Opening statements are scheduled tomorrow. The 21-year-old is accused of planning and carrying out the bombings near the Boston Marathon finish line in 2013. Three people were killed and more than 260 injured. He could get the death penalty. In Los Angeles, protesters took to the streets following this past weekend's fatal shooting of a homeless man by LAPD officers. Demonstrators marched to police department headquarters. They also staged a die-in. The police chief says the man was shot because he tried to grab an officer's gun. Investigators are now looking at various videos of the incident, including video from the body cameras of two police officers. At new at five, will some New Jersey kids soon have a cavity problem? The mayor of East Brunswick, David Stahl, is calling for an end to the practice of adding fluoride to a city's drinking water. That's because New Brunswick is going to run out of fluoride this spring. The mayor and the township's water policy advisory committee are at odds over his proposal. The CDC values fluoride's cavity-fighting benefits, calling water fluoridation one of the ten great public health achievements of the 20th century. A historic day for the FDNY. The department swore in its first female and openly gay chaplain this morning. Ann Cansfield is the pastor of the Greenpoint Reformed Church in Brooklyn. She, like all FDNY chaplains, will be working part-time for the department, providing counseling to firefighters, also performing blessings and invocations. Cansfield says she's excited to take on this new role. From today on and from from now on, we are really looking to be uh, a department that includes everyone, and it's an honor to be a part of that. Cansfield is the eighth FDNY chaplain. Six other chaplains are Christian, and one is Jewish. 
All right. Well, congratulations. Yes. There we are. And uh, looky once again at the weather. Yep. Janice, we, <laughs> here we are. We've got a storm now, another yeah. one coming later. Yep. Yeah. We've got a lot going hmm. on these next uh, two and a half days for sure. Oh, stays out like a lamb. Uh, let's hope so. Let's yeah. hope that yeah. saying is true because it came in like a lion, that's for sure. And the lion's still roaring out there. Snow is falling in the city. It's heavy at times. The visibility is reduced. That's the other problem. Right during the evening commute, the worst time you want to have these uh, type of conditions. 29 degrees right now in the city. So, yes, everything is sticking to the pavement, but the temperatures are expected to warm up in just a matter of a few hours, and we're going to see a changeover. We're already seeing some mixing in parts of New Jersey. But nonetheless, it's a messy evening commute, no matter how it shapes up. Uh, the mix is changing over. By 8 o'clock in the city, it's probably mostly rain. There might be some ice or some sleep mixed with that. Later tonight into tomorrow, fog is going to be a problem. As that warm air comes in and moves over the snow surfaces, you're going to see a lot of fog forming. Uh, rain tomorrow, especially south of the city, it's all rain because it's warm enough. And then on the back side of that, the cold air comes in again and changes everything over to snow. Right now, we're already seeing mixing, some sleet, some freezing rain around Howell and Tom's River and points to the south. When you come up to the north, though, across Long Island, it is uh, snowing in Islip, Oyster Bay, Hempstead, and Smithtown. Back to the west, the 